First day we took them to kindergarten, we're walking through the parking lot, there were parents holding their little children, weeping with them in the parking lot. Tammy and I were skipping through the parking lot. <laughs> we're gonna get a nap, baby, we're gonna get a nap, finally. We're gonna get some shut-eye, five years without a night of sleep, we're gonna get some sleep. <laughs> some perky woman came over, we'll have so much fun, and we're sure you will. <laughs> You'll excuse us, we're gonna go buy our first answering machine. Call me prescient, but I felt I'd be screening calls between eight and three for the rest of my natural life. <laughs> Principal calls me at home. Your boy won't sit in his chair. He's disrupting the whole class. We don't know what to do. I'll open the back door and let him loose. That's what we do at home. <laughs> He'll come back when he's tired. He always does. And check his hair for ticks. He crawls through the shrubbery quite a bit. <laughs> it's kindergarten. What's he going to miss? Coloring? I thought he'd catch up. Tension deficit hyperactive disorder. I like that. It's polite. It's medical. Let's face it, 50 years ago when I was bouncing off the great school walls in America, they didn't have a name for it, did they? I was OLP, obnoxious little punk. <laughs> My third grade teacher, Miss Stokesbury, headbutted me. Twice. <laughs> you don't make that up. And you don't forget it. She was so frustrated with me, she was shaking me against the locker. And she was overweight, her cheeks were vibrating like jello. And I'm sorry to, to a nine year old boy that's actually funny. So I couldn't stop laughing. She finally goes, Laugh at me, you obnoxious little punk. And she goes, Pow! Wow, that hurt. Then I said, If you stop vibrating, Jellator, I'll stop laughing. Boy, was that the wrong thing to say to Miss Stokesbury? Jello, what? Pow! When my son was eight or nine, they said, we need to put him on Ritalin. I said, what's Ritalin? They said, it's an amphetamine. That's when I dropped the Legos I was playing with. <laughs> what? Based on my family's history of alcohol and drug abuse, yeah, let's get the kid on the crank as soon as possible. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, if that son of mine had one chromosome for my side of the family, he'd have been 11 going, you know, Dad, I don't think the five milligrams are doing it for me anymore. <laughs> I can't seem to focus on math. A lot of numbers are math. One, two, five, seven, eight. Well, you don't have to have a lot of numbers. I, I think we go to t t t two a day. Three, two, three, two, ten, 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 ten. Two, two, two a day. Two, 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 two. <laughs> so we passed on the crank, and we let him go through school all natural, the way God created him. And eight years later, the Army gave him an M16. I love this country. <laughs> <laughs>